All right, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the Chupacabra Tutorials channel. I'm your host, Larry, and today we're back to check out another Discord music bot, and I'll show you how to get it on your server and how to use it if in the event you're in the market for a new music bot. And we'll also see how it performs when you go and listen to it. So today we're checking out Savan, who was sent to me on my Discord by its creator. And Savan is a music bot that offers high uptime, stable and fast, high music quality, and music filters, if that's something that you're into. Um, I'm not entirely certain, off the bat, which music services that this bot pulls from, but there's a pretty good chance that it pulls from things like Spotify and SoundCloud, if not the other ones like Deezer and Apple Music. So we're going to check that out here today, and you can see the list of commands over here. You've got things like 24-7 mode, and pretty much all of the different commands that you can get for this bot are available for free. At most, there's a couple features that I've seen that require you to vote on top.gg, but it, you know, for the price of a single click uh, to vote on this bot to improve its rankability, it's not a terribly high cost. So I'm going to grab this from the app directory which is where I like to get a lot of apps for Discord now because they're a little bit better verified by the Discord team. So we'll go to the server settings on my test server, go down to the app directory, and then we'll just search for Savan. And then here it is. We'll just click on the blue button to add it to the server. Actually, does it tell me what it plays from? It plays from Spotify as the default platform. That's good to know. So let's go ahead and add this to my test server. Click continue, give it all the uh, permissions that it wants, and then we'll just say, yes, I am in fact a human, not a Cylon. And then it should be popped in to our server right here. It'll say, hi, I'm Savan. You can do stuff with me. I'm a bot. And we can learn all about it by typing in slash help. So here's the sort of breakdown of all the commands. You've got filters, miscellaneous, where you can see things like the clusters it runs on and the current ping of the bot, the music controls, and then some settings like 24-7 mode, announcing what it's doing, adding a DJ role, a log, a prefix, a text channel, which I'm assuming the text channel allows us to separate this bot into its own channel to make it so that it is easy to control that. So I'll delete previous old text channel so we can demo that if that's in fact what that does. But the main bread and butter of any bot like this is its ability to play music. So I'm going to jump into the general channel. You always have to be in a music or a voice channel to begin with before the bots want to respond to music playing commands. Otherwise, they'll get mad at you. That's pretty much universal, too. And we'll just play some NCS music because that won't get me in trouble with YouTube. All right, so let's go ahead and demo the music by playing a song from NCS. Let's just go ahead and grab something random like uh, Gone by Wigwez or however you pronounce that name. I just have a list of them next to me to grab from. And so as you can hear, pops into the channel almost instantaneously and starts playing music. And from my playing around today and experimenting with the bot, it sounds like it's got good playback quality. And this bot isn't like... <clears throat> And this bot doesn't have an overwhelming number of servers that use it, so it should be fairly responsive no matter what time of day you try to use the bot unless it's offline for maintenance, which happens to pretty much every bot from time to time. So let's go ahead and add some other songs to the queue. And so now that we've got a few songs into the queue, we can kind of play around with some of the different controls for the music. So one of the things I'm sure you already noticed about this bot is that in the middle here, you've got little button controls to start, stop, skip, loop the song, or pause the music, which is really handy. So I can pause and resume this song at any time, or you can literally stop, although that kills the whole bot and clears the queue. So that can be a little funky. You can also skip this song and go straight to the next song if you'd like, and Weirdly enough, something that I don't see from a lot of bots actually in a while is it has a previous button. Um, a lot of bots, when you move to the next song, will 
automatically or almost instantaneously purge the song from the queue from your song history so you can't go back and play that again. Now the other thing you can do is it's got a pause command so you can pause it. It's also got a resume command so you can easily resume it that way. So you have the option like a lot of bots to either press buttons or to put in a command and you can also see the queue. And then it shows you a list of what's up next and you can remove songs from that queue pretty easily. So I like that. So while that's playing music, let's look at what other options the bot has. So you've got different things like it can autoplay, it can bump a song, um, you can clear the queue, you can grab a song, you can join this to a different channel. All that different stuff is available in the basic controls that you see here. Those are fairly self-explanatory. All right, so while that's playing music, let's go ahead and use the text channel command because it wants us to vote on that in order to get that to work. So let's do text channel set and we'll use the bot chat. And now it should only use commands when run in uh, the other channel. <clears throat> so what happens if I put in a command in the general chat still? So it's still... It's still doing commands in the main general chat, so I'm not entirely certain why I would set the text channel to this channel if it's not going to route all commands and responses to the bot chat. So I guess don't worry about that one. The other command that it does have, which is a little bit more straightforward, is the DJ role. And so I can literally set this to the DJ role. That way, anybody that I give that role to, including myself, if I hover over my name and say, oh, I want Larry to be the DJ, I can give them the DJ role. That role doesn't have any permissions attached to it as far as the server is concerned, but by having that role on, anybody with that is now in command, in control of the bot, so you can assign people to be the admin of just the bot if you want to. That way you don't have to make it so that everybody with an admin role is constantly available to control the DJ bot in the event that a lot of people use it and need someone to help control it. Otherwise, you have to have a consensus among listeners in order to get the bot to skip a song, remove a song, all that sort of good stuff. It's helpful to have a DJ or an admin around to control bots like this. So on the whole, Savan is a very simple and straightforward bot. You just have to vote for it once a day in order to get a lot of these features to unlock. Otherwise, you don't actually have to pay for anything in order to get this. Now, it doesn't have a lot of frills and thrills. It doesn't have any auto rolls. It doesn't have a lot of admin controls or anything like that. But honestly, when I'm looking for things like a bot, I probably just want a bot to do one simple, straightforward thing. I don't necessarily need it to do a little bit of everything along with being a music bot. So check it out for yourselves. This has been a brief look at Savan, how to get it working, and what some of the features are. I've been your host, Larry. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will catch you next time. Bye, everybody, and have a good one. I'll put the various important links to this bot in the video description below. Bye, everybody, and have a good one.